Hey guys, today I'm making these tiny little pigs and just this little change made from gems. For your dolls. Uh, let's see, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please feel free to click that subscribe button. And kids, do be sure to ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. First, I cut off a section from a thick straw that is about one and a half centimeters or half of an inch. And I'm just punching a hole all the way through. And now I seal my straw on either end by placing hot glue on parchment paper and my straw on my glue. And when dry, I'm just peeling off the excess. do the other side. I take some model magic and here I've just mixed red and blue to give me purple. Then I place a straw inside to keep any model magic from going inside my holes and I can begin shaping my pig. seams just by massaging and I can narrow the front where my nose will be and guys when happy with your shape pull out your straw flatten out your pig and then guys just closing this top part just a little bit we still want room for our coins whether it's paper or these little gems which you can paint silver and if your bottom starts to close you can just widen it and now you can leave it to dry and I just place mine in front of a fan to try and speed up that drying process and when your pigs are dry for the legs, I roll out more Model Magic, just four little balls. I place my pig on top, adjust as needed, and then squeeze just to make sure it really grips. For the nose, again, taking a little bit more Model Magic, rolling it up, and placing it for the nose. For the ears, just with a little bit more Model Magic, I roll it up, flatten it down, and then I can use my X-Acto knife to make two little ears. And finally guys, for the tail, I just roll up a tiny bit of Model Magic. Place on my pig's butt and twirl. And model magic will break off, especially if you have a tiny little piece, so I didn't want a lot of my tail jutting out. When your pig's dry, you can flip it over and use your hole punch to punch out a bit of craft foam paper. And from here, there's no easy way to do this other than by trial and error. So I'm just trimming it down just a little bit. Then I cut out a tiny little bit of clear plastic and glue to my craft foam. And when dry, if you like, you can cover the Mod Podge. And you can spruce up your pig. Just some wings, leave as is, or fray. So this is just thin craft foam paper. Or fibers from a pom pom for hair. As I showed you guys in my last video, you can make a super easy little bow just out of thin craft foam paper. And as mentioned earlier for my coins guys, I'm just painting some little gems, silver and bronze. Uh, let's see, and then just a heads up guys, some of my little pigs cracked, um, not sure why that is. You can maybe try adding just a drop of water on your fingertips as you're massaging your model magic. But if you guys have any tips, I'd love to hear them. And guys, you are so totally good to go. 